Hello and welcome to the old Ultra Runner channel. I'm your host Jay Tyner and today I want to talk about why I love fixed timed races. I know for most people the thought of a fixed time race, fixed time running race where you're running in small loops over and over and over sounds uh, miserable. Uh, you're not seeing as much uh, scenery, uh, it can be repetitive, and there are some negatives, but let me tell you why I love fixed time races, at least occasionally. Um, I still also love trail races. I love getting out, seeing different scenery. I love being out in the woods, but an occasional fixed time race uh, to me is awesome, and let me tell you why. Uh, one of the reasons is sometimes on a long trail run, you're on your own a lot. You're running by yourself. Uh, which can be nice at times, but, but sometimes you want company. In a fixed time race, that's not an issue. Uh, you're on usually a small loop that can be um, usually one to two miles. Uh, I've run them as short as a half mile or longer, up to two and a half, three miles. I know there are some courses that have four or five mile loops that you do over and over. Always going to end up seeing someone that's either slower or faster, that is either catching up with you or going past you, you're going to continually see people. That's nice. Um, as you vary your pace a little bit in some of these longer timed races, you'll be able to run with people that you normally can't. Uh, so you might be in a little place where you're taking a short walk or whatever. So you can walk with someone that is uh, much slower than you, much more velocity challenged, as we say. Uh, or you can... Uh, also meet up and be with people that are faster than you for a while. It's, 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 it's great in that you're able to uh, socialize with people of all different paces during these things. Uh, you also get, there's also advantages in that you're always close to, your, to the aid station. Uh, you're always close to your stuff. So you uh, never have to wait real long to get to aid or more fluid or uh, more food or if you need a jacket, it's always close by. It's not never real long. Uh, that's also advantage just because you don't have to carry all that stuff with you. You just run a small loop and you're back to your stuff or you're back to the aid station. It also allows you to push it more. You can really uh, take a chance and push your effort without worrying about uh, collapsing or, or being uh, out somewhere with with totally depleted. So um, that's a benefit. Uh, it also has a benefit in that you don't get lost. You're running a small loop, you're doing it over and over. You don't have to worry about directions or if you're directionally challenged, it's not an issue. Uh, you also, as some of us become uh, older and more velocity challenged, we don't have to worry about cutoffs that you have to in maybe a trail race where an aid station is going to get closed down or you're going to be uh, kicked off the course because you haven't gone fast enough. So you can go at your own pace. The, for the entire length of the fixed time race, the aid, stations will be, the aid station will be there, the course will be open. Uh, you can go at your own pace. Uh, it's a great, great environment to push for your max, whether you're fast and, and you want to go as hard as you can, um, you're able to really push it and you've got good support, you don't get lost, you don't, uh, you know your directions, and, and you're not on your own. So it's, it's a great environment to, to push for your max performance to go as far as you can in a, link, in a set length of time. It's also great for those of us that are velocity challenged and older because, like I said, there's no cutoffs, there's no uh, minimum that you have to do, you're not going to get lost, and you can go at your own pace. You can, you can set your own, your own target, you can do things based on your own abilities, but the, the biggest things you need to be able to do for a, a fixed time race is take care of yourself and keep moving. And uh, a lot of older velocity challenge people know how to do that very well. Uh, they may not be as uh, quick anymore, but they have learned over the years how to take care of themselves. So you'll find that in some of these races, it's, it's kind of cool that you meet uh, people that are very accomplished ultra runners that have been running for years, have done 50 miles, 100 miles, all kinds of things on the trail, but they're not quite as uh, speedy as they once were. 
and they're still able to push their limits and do what they're able to do now. Uh, so it's, it's kind of cool. You'll meet some of the slower runners, the, the more velocity challenge runners now that may be in their 70s or 80s, 60s, 70s, 80s that have done incredible things in the past, but they, they now are struggling a little bit more to uh, do it on a technical trail and meet the cutoffs. Well, you get to talk to those people. It's, it's, you get amazing stories. It's, it's great to share. Of course, some of the cons are you don't have as much scenery. Uh, I still love trail running. I still enjoy those races, um, but I do like doing fixed time races a couple times a year. And for me, I, it's, I usually do a 24 or 48-hour race early in the year, and then late in the year I do a 24-hour race. And I've gotten where I do this a small series of six-hour timed races in the fall. Um, it, it's a cool thing. You have people that show up every week after week, and you get to know them, and you're seeing them on the course. Um, some of them are faster than me. Some of them are slower, but we're always able to share, at least pass each other quite often. And it's a very nice thing to get to know people. Um, you, you'll find that in some of these races, sometimes older runners that know how to take care of themselves, know how to prevent chafing, know how to do their nutrition, they may be slower, but they become more competitive in these events because they, they know how to take care of themselves. Uh, consistency is key. Even if you're velocity challenged in a fixed time race, if you're able to consistently move, uh, you're going to do better. So anyway, those are some of the reasons I love fixed time races and I hope you give one a try sometime. Thank you very much.